Hey YouTube, today we're setting up a timing belt on a Volvo T5 engine. Why don't you join us in the shop? It's a real fiddly one to set up. Hope you find this informative. Setting the timing marks on the engines and others that are similar, lots of different engines with these timing marks using the cover. Sometimes when it comes down in here, they're they're here and here on the on the four-cylinder engines. Anyway, the the timing the timing marks are really kind of for a vague reference only. If you look at this one, you know, kind of this this is this mark is on the top of the tooth, maybe a little bit after. And this thing's back. If I looked at it in an angle, I could kind of bring it back, but that's like dead on right there. Um, this one, like even more disconcerting, it almost looks like it's a tooth off. Uh, these really don't work well. What you have to do is you have to have a uh, a kit. The, it's the only way to to do the timing on these. Otherwise, you're going to get it wrong. This is the exact vehicle we're working on here. It's the B5254T5 motor from 2012. Lord knows there's many of them. But even Volvo's um, markings in their factory information really don't they really give you general reference only as far as what their you know where the where the marks should be. So there's a plug right here behind the starter. This engine's on a stand, so it's a lot easier to see. Um, but the tool is basically like this. It goes in here, and then what we're going to do is we're going to you rotate the crankshaft against the stop on the tool. So I'm going to push push that in, and now you see you can kind of feel you push it up, and it it locks on the tool. In case you're wondering what what the what the alignment pins do, these tools that fit in there. Keep in mind the engine is upside down now. We're in the middle of doing the oil pan gasket for this one. But what this tool does is when you fit it in here, all right, now we're going to look from here. And the crank, there's a flat spot on the crank. You can see rests right against that. And it's kind of a nice design because that is on the same plane, that flat spot's on the same plane. So even if you don't have the tool inserted all the way, even if you only have it in here a little bit, it still sits at the, it still indexes to the same spot on the crank. We're moving the crank back and forth there. And then we're gonna pull the tool out a little bit sorry for the wiggle and it still hits the crank at the same plane it rests on that plane so it's kind of a nice design and then it holds that right where it's supposed to be so there's there's the 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 end of this flyweight on the indexing tool you can see you could back it off a little bit here and we're just going to do this, back it off a little bit, and then seat it. The direction of engine rotation is, is actually this way, though. If the engine were accidentally started with the tool in place, where it just pushes the tool out and continues to run, the tool is self-ejecting. This timing mark is kind of reasonable, and these are... These are um you know they're 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 not really what you would want to look for in in timing but now the we're going to go behind this these two cam caps here we're going to pull them out and we're going to put the cam locks the cam lock tool in here which is this tool that will will give us the uh the lock and and we'll we'll take a look at that when we get that installed there's a little thing about removing the cam plugs. What you want to do is you want to punch a hole in them. They're kind of thin. You punch a hole in through the all, and then you pry against the uh, the edge, and they'll pop right out. A little bit of oil behind them. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get a we're going to get a Torx bit in here, and we're going to take the take that that screw out of there. All right, removing these these. Uh, Torx bits, these T30s, can be a real 
real hassle. If you remove them with a regular wrench, they're definitely going to round off. A lot of times what you can do is you can put a, a, a small impact on them and just shock them loose. Or you can put a breaker bar on it, like this quarter inch drive with the breaker bar, and put it in there. And while you're exerting pressure, whack it with the back of a, of a, of a, with a brass hammer or some other light hammer um, just to shock it loose. Occasionally they won't come out, so the only solution here is to to take a nut and weld it on top of the existing Torx screw, and then just um, you have to get another you have to get another one when you're done. So let's see what that looks like. All right, and here we are with our with our nut welded onto the end of that screw. When you do weld to a crank a camshaft or a crankshaft if this is necessary. Make sure you're absolutely only grounded to the cam or crank that you're welding to. You do not want to clamp the, uh, the, the ground onto the block and make it go through the bearings. You're definitely going to destroy the bearing. But here, isolated just to the cam and welding to the cam on the other side, we can be absolutely sure that we have no other ground path through the uh, through the block and it will not make uh, it will not arc the where the bearings are inside there so now you want to let that cool just a little bit when it's not red anymore that bolt is going to come out I bet by just yep it just comes right out and and that's that's the end of it now as tempting as it might be do not install this back in only a slob would do that and um, it's a little bit hot uh, you got to get a you got to get a new one for, for that one and uh, don't install it and grind the head off so the cam cap will fit either come on let's be reasonable about this just to reiterate how difficult these things are to get aligned look at the plane of the head surface and the plane of the cam and this one, this engine was plainly at a time when when that is. You see how off that one is? Because right now we have our we, we have our fixture in place, and we're 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 hard up to it right there. Um, and that is very very off. So now we're going to have to undo our timing belt before we put this this fixture on place. And so here's our cam fixtures in place. So all these are these are these are nice and snug. These are these are tight. Let's see where our, our, our mark alignment marks are now. And you can see that even still, those alignment marks are like wishful thinking. It kind of lines up with this area over in here. I mean it's in the range, but where would you rather be? There or there? You know, it's like kind of in between. And this one's kind of like the same thing also. That's right on top of this tooth here. And that's like a, just a sad place to have an alignment mark. So we put all our components and the timing belt on. We remove the fixtures, the, the crank lock and the cam lock from the back. And we pulled it through two complete cycles. That's four revolutions of the crank. And we brought this back up to dead on the crank on top dead center and let's look at our timing marks so the tool in the back fits perfectly this one is a real great representation of where that timing mark should be this one it's like approximate at best like I don't know you know I'm sure these the plastics move on this thing this it's a plastic cover really a horrible way to go about doing it but um if we were to take and put our timing uh, fixture back in here you can see that the that the top of this is pretty much in line with the with the, this is the intake cam pretty much in line with the plane of the valve cover surface or the top half of the valve guide surface and right here same thing that that fixture wherever it went has been put away already by a very efficient tech um, is good and that's another thing you can look for you can open these things up and kind of kind of look and see if, if they're if they're out if it was a tooth off it would be 
it would be pretty blatant. But yeah, you really need the tool to, to set these things up properly. Either that or either that or uh, you're just bound for weeping and gnashing of teeth and uh, nobody wants anybody to go through that. We hope you liked this video. If you did like it, click the like button and maybe subscribe. For more information, send us an email or leave a comment below.